Now, um, how are you enjoying your time, huh? Yeah, loving my time. It's, uh, it's been an easy, uh, easy move for me to, to move from Geelong and uh, the footy club have been great, the boys have been great. Um, yeah, look, it's been great and I've been loving it. Just that, um, I know it's in the past, but future, but that first game, off the pack, take the ball, kick the goal, that wasn't a bad start, was it? It was a nice start, yeah, I waved it at the back and the ball came over, so, um, yeah. It was very good. Now, last year, did you think your career was over? Or, sorry, did you think your career was over, or did you think the system wasn't letting you play? Uh, I, I didn't think my career was over, yeah. no. I, I knew that Geelong had a way of doing things, and... Um, I knew where their focus was, and that was to play young blokes, and I wasn't sure where I stood with them, and I was just hoping that it wasn't over, and I knew I had you know, a bit to, to give, and I'm glad that the Bombers you know, took me on, and uh, hopefully I'll slowly repay them back. No, that's fantastic, but I'm, I'm quite happy to have you in the side. I think I, 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 said, to I said to you, and I've said to people, in our time, she's got Brian Wood over there, so they had three premierships at Richmond, and he happens to get another one, so I'm quite happy to have someone like you in the side, but I'm very happy about it. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the plan, exactly right. Now, um, uh, Bomber is a coach. Had him before, had him his second time. Is he, was he as crazy back then as he is now, like all coaches are? What do you think? Yeah, he was pretty crazy back then. <laughs> but, uh, he's very a lot more chilled now. Um, he's taken on a really big mental role with the young guys, and um, obviously he knows what uh, successful teams look like and successful clubs look like. And, um, you know, I can see that he's doing a lot of hard work in trying to build a good club and also build, you know, a good team and start with the young blokes and obviously the old guys as well. Excellent, excellent. Well, I was coached by Kevin Shooty, so we all know what a crazy coach is like. That's right, no worries. Um, just about that Geelong culture, how, how many years were you there? Uh, 14 years. 14. So you saw the development from average side to a, through a very good side. What are the things, if you could say to the young blokes now, what are the things that you notice changed? What are the things that stand up you say, this is what the symbol of a good side is? Good club. Yeah. Um, well, obviously my first year was Bomber's first year, so we went in together and um, there was a lot of older guys there and Bomber had the hard job of having to get rid of the older guys and then bring in young blokes. And um, it was from the coaches and what I know now, it was probably about good character in people and um, getting good people. Um, obviously, you know, talent is a big thing, but being a good person and um, you know, it was something that was high on the list. And uh, for me, you know, what makes a really good team is being able to, you know, tell your teammates what you think, you know, and for Honestly. people, yeah, for people to take it on board and it not be personal. And um, you know, we're all in it together, and um, you know, there's one way of playing, and that's our way. And if you're not going to play that way, then you know, then maybe you're not really wanted at that football club. And you know, and I think that builds a really good culture as well. So if you play a certain way and it works, there's your culture. So um, Good. that's the thing. Good. So I've, I've, I think you might have said it, but if there was, apart from that, if there's one thing you'd say to the new bloke coming in, being an experienced player, I'm sure Fletch has got lots to say to the young, you know, the young blokes have come through, he says it quietly, but if there was one thing you could say to the new draft lead about having a successful career, what's you have to do to start it? What's the one thing you need to do properly? I think you have to be a hard trainer and listen. Um, one thing that I've learned about our young blokes here is that they are exactly that. Uh, they want to be the best that they can be, and they, they're sponges, they want to listen to the older guys, they ask questions, and I think they don't realise how much of an influence they have on the football club. Yeah. Um, they actually set standards probably as much as what the older guys do, and you know, when the young blokes are doing it, it leaves no choice for the older blokes but to follow. So they actually probably hold more weight than what they think, and um, you know, when they realise that, then you know, they'll start setting high standards and then everyone will like to follow as well. So just enjoy your footy, be the best you can be, keep asking questions, keep wanting to be the best and uh, learn the game plan and, and don't veer off that and together we'll be a really good football club. Yeah, good, good, that's excellent. So I asked for one, I got 10, then I'm going to put the right all this down. That's good, no, that's good. It's really, some really good stuff. Uh, the new, uh, now just, uh, Brendan Goddard was talking about the new facility, fantastic. Do you feel that, that it's a bit bare and it's a bit too clinical? It needs, needs sort of symbols all over the place? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, probably wasn't until BJ actually said it that I thought that that would actually make it feel more homely and, yeah. you know, um, sort of a, not a better place to come to, but, you know, to have the history of the place around and um, to be able to look at posters and 
you know, all that, the history of the club, and even though they've got the, the cups in there and stuff like that to have other stuff around, you know, it would be great. It would make it feel more like a footy club, and um, I think that's a great idea. Good. Now, uh, this year, next year, maybe you're after, not sure, you play as long as you like in my book. Uh, what are you going to be after, after football? Are you interested in coaching, interested in your own business? What are you going to do after footy? Uh, coaching's on the on the cards. Um, I just really want to enjoy playing footy for however long it may be. Yeah. Um, but coaching's definitely on the cards. I mean, I love building and stuff like that, but I think I'll just worry about that when that comes and um, yeah, just focus on what what, you know, what I'm doing right now. That's good, mate. Well, look, it's great to have you here. Really good to give someone of your calibre back into the, into the club. And good luck with all you have to do and keep playing good footy, mate. Thank you. Great to have you. Thank you.